Hi there everybody, David here, and I am seeing a whole lot of doom and gloom. The writing's on the wall. Square Enix is set up to fail. I'm seeing a lot of that lately, and I'm here to tell you that just isn't the case. All of this is in regards to this article right here with the headline, Square Enix to record extraordinary loss of 22.1 billion yen in content abandonment losses following a revised development approach. Square Enix is going to be more selective and focused in the allocation of development resources. So let me break this down for you. Let me just tell you what this actually means. They are saying, hey, you know what? We want quality over quantity. There was a time not that long ago, back in 2022, when within like say oh, a three month or so period, Square Enix came out with a whole bunch of games. They came out with the Voice of Cards, the Beast of Burden on September 13th. Also, the same day, they put out Various Day Life. One week later, on September 22nd, they put out the Deal Food Chronicle. Another week later, they put out Valkyrie Elysium on September 29th. One month later, on October 27th, they put out Star Wars and the Divine Force. Just one week later, they put out Harvestella. One week after that, on November 11th, they put out Tactics Ogre Reborn. One month later after that, they put out Dragon Quest Treasures uh, on December 9th. Four days later, they put out Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. And then one month after that, they put out Forspoken. So there was a time whenever they put out a whole bunch of games within literally like a three-month period. It was really ridiculous. So Square Enix is saying, you know what? That strategy, that didn't work. But what could be a working strategy would be to take that half the amount of games but double the quality basically saying instead of like 10 games uh why don't we put out five games but put all those resources i.e the money into those five games to double their quality make them even better that is all they are doing here and whenever it says an extraordinary loss they're not talking a monetary loss here you can use, you can say the word extraordinary means it's so much money, but that's not what it means in this case. Extraordinary means that it is a rare thing. It is something that normally doesn't happen. It should only happen maybe once every decade or so. Whenever they're going on through these games and they're saying, hey, you know what? We're looking at unannounced games and we're going to scrap them. That is something extraordinary because it doesn't normally happen. That's what it means. To put this into context, whenever you see the term that's 22.1 billion yen, you might think, wow, that's a lot of money. But Square Enix is a multi-billion company, and that is about 140 million US dollars, which to them isn't all that much. It says here, the losses recorded are for canceling games that were in development and were unannounced. So we're not talking about Dragon Quest XII. We're not talking about Dragon Quest 3 HD. Get that out of your head. That's not what's happening here. Um, what we're talking about are games that just were failures on launch. Balan's Wonderland, Babylon's Fall, that Chocobo GP disaster where they put everything behind microtransactions. That's what they're talking about. They're getting rid of, they're, they're cutting the fat. They're cutting the scraps, and they're just wanting to elevate the games that they actually put out. That is what is going on. That that is what is going on here, and this is a good thing for gamers. We all have tons of games in the backlog. We all know that these games cost a lot of money, and our wallets are hurting. So it would be nice in order for them to say, "Hey, you know what? We're not going to release ten games. We're going to release five. But those five, they're going to be bangers. They're going to be." great because we're going to put as much money into them as we possibly can now a lot of other people i saw they were talking about and saying oh what this means is that games like star ocean or those smaller games they're going to be gone but that again is not the case look at star ocean the second story r its sales soared. It made nearly $1 million in the first 10 days just on Steam alone, not to mention that it sold over 50,000 
copies in its first week, and those are physical copies, then a million more just in 10 days on Steam. Star Ocean, the second story, that is a hit! And Square Enix just put out another free update for it. They literally just put out a free update for it. Why would they do that? Why would they allocate resources and bring in extra voice actors and rehire the artists and things like that for Star Ocean the Second R and then give it to y'all free if it wasn't a hit? Like, that doesn't make any sense. They are doing right by these games. Star Ocean is fine. People are also talking about, oh, you know what? This means that those smaller games, uh, the Brave the Default games, games like that, are gone. But no, that's not the case. Team Asano, they put out a, um, a statement not that long ago, back in December, just about six months ago. And they said, you know what, we're going to be having steady announcements from here on. I'm going to go back and I'm going to reread exactly what Team Asano said and guess how they said this. This was a tweet from the Bravely Default Twitter account. So, yeah, it's from the Bravely Default Twitter account saying we're going to be having more announcements. Does that, d does that make you think that Bravely Default is dead? No! Why would they do this? They said, every time we reach this time of year, I think to myself, the year is almost over, huh? How has everybody's year been? After we released Octopath Traveler 2, the mobile game and its versions recently celebrated anniversaries. Even as our lineup expanded, we have no announcements or follow-ups or reports on consoles, but we've continued to prepare. From next year, meaning this year, new titles should be coming out or announced on a regular basis, so I ask that you pay attention to that. We will also be doing our yearly traditional project soon. So, what games does Team Asano do? They do the Bravely Default series, they do the Octopath Traveler series, they did Triangle Strategy, and they even did the Live Alive HD 2D remake. They have been putting out some great, great games. And he got promoted! The guy got promoted! Do, do you think that Square Enix would promote somebody and then say, oh, by the way, you can't do any of your games anymore? even though they just said that they're going to be putting out these games from an official Bravely Default Twitter account. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. All this doom and gloom that I keep on hearing is so totally misplaced. Not only that, but you can pinpoint on the stock market where their stock rised the second that this announcement came out. That means that investors are happy about this too. And I know that people don't like to hear it, but Square Enix is a business. Square Enix is a company. They got to do what what their, square, what, what their shareholders want and where the money is. And the shareholders seem to like this. And honestly, I like this. This is fine by me. I do not want to see one of my favorite game companies going to bankruptcy. I do not want to see them consistently put out trashy games that nobody cares about. I want them to see, I, I, I want them to focus on doing better. I want them to focus on increasing their quality of the games that I know and love. The Final Fantasy series, the Dragon Quest series, Saga, Star Ocean, Bravely, all these games that we've talked about. Do I want more various day lives in my life? No, I don't. Fine, scrap it, it's fine. Like, I, I, I want them to be putting out these great games that they are so well known for, and it seems like that is what they're trying to do. So again, all this doom and gloom is completely misplaced. Time will tell how this all pans out in the wash, but I choose to be optimistic about it. I think that this is great news, and I am very happy for them. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, and as always, have a good day.